What's up Mariners, this is Avilash Thakur and welcome to Sailor's Guide. Alright guys, so today we are going to start with the rule number 13 that is overtaking. Well, uh, this is uh, one of the important rule in ROR and mind you that this rule comes under the section 2 of part B of the rules. As I have explained in the video of content of the ROR that there are five sections of ROR. First section is general, second is steering and sailing rules. And we have three subparts to that section. One from rule number four to rule number 10, that is in all condition of visibility. The second part is conduct of vessel in sight of one another. In sight of one another, we have learned this uh, definition in rule number three that one vessel can be observed from another. That is known as in sight of one another. So, this rule comes under section 2, which is conduct of vessel in sight of one another. Only when the visibility is such that you can observe the other vessel from your vessel. Okay, that is the in sight of one another. So, we have reached up to rule number 13 that is overtaking. So, what they have said in part A is very important, notwithstanding any contained in rule of part B. So, they are saying that the rule 13 is not withstanding it means it doesn't matter whatever is given in rule of part b section 1 and 2 one is for all kind of visibility from 4 to 10 second is from 11 to rule number 18 okay conduct of vessel in sight of one another so in these two section no matter what the rule says overtaking rule will always apply in two condition in all condition visibility from 4 Whatever the rule has given for the vessels from 4 to 10 and from 11 to 18, this rule will always apply. And they said any, any overtaking any other shall keep out of the way of the vessel being overtaken. So they are saying that overtaking vessel will always keep clear of the overtaken vessel. That is very very important. Let's say there are two vessels. No matter if if it is a power driven and this is a fishing vessel if she is overtaking this one she needs to keep clear doesn't matter what the vessel is what the situation is in overtaking situation always the vessel who is overtaking will keep the way out of the vessel from being overtaken this is very important okay so rule number 13 will always apply no matter what is given in section b sorry part b section 1 and section which I have explained, section 1 is from rule number 4 to 10 and section 2 is from 11 to 18. Section 3 is only rule number 19 that is restricted visibility. Okay, That rule doesn't include this one but only the first and second section. Okay, So this is about the A part, let's jump on to the B part. Alright guys, so B part is all about when we will consider that a vessel is overtaking. So if a vessel who is 22.5 degrees above the beam of the vessel ahead she will be considered as a overtaking vessel. So she is overtaking because she is behind this 22.5 degrees on either side. Okay, a vessel could be here also. She is also be considered as a overtaking vessel. And also at night time, if she sees her only the stern light, the stern light section is this. We will cover it up in the later videos, but the stern light section is this. 135 degrees from 22.5 degrees above the beam from starboard side to the port side which is white light okay this white light is stern light only that will be seen at night time then also you will consider that you are a overtaking vessel so obviously when the night time she is behind she will only see the stern light not the side lights or the masthead light because they are out of the visibility arc okay so that is what you do either at daytime if you are 22.5 degrees above the beam of the vessel and at night time if you can only see her stern light not the side lights or the masthead lights okay then you will consider as a overtaking vessel then this rule will apply all right this is about the b section guys let's jump on to the next part all right guys so the c part is very simple if you are in any doubt that you are overtaking or not you will be considered, you will deem that you are overtaking and act accordingly. Okay, at night time, maybe you feel like that you are not sure that you are overtaking a vessel or maybe in a daytime also. 
if if you have any doubt then you will consider that you are a overtaking vessel and you take action accordingly you keep clear of the vessel which you are overtaking okay which has been overtaken so this is about the c part let's jump on to the next part all right guys so next part is very important they have said if there is any alteration of the bearing when you are overtaking you are not relieved from your duty you need to keep out of the way of the vessel being overtaken i will show you what is the meaning of it let's say we take example that you are this vessel you are overtaking this vessel okay as you are behind 22.5 degrees you are above the 22.5 degrees of the beam then you are considered as a vessel be a vessel which is overtaking so as per the rule you will keep out of the way from this vessel very simple so the next thing is as you will start overtaking it you will come obviously ahead of this 22.5 degrees slowly slowly so when you will reach ahead of this 22.5 degrees you will also see the lights which are side light because you will come into the sector of this lights but in this case as you are on the port side you will see the red light okay so the thing is it will not change the situation because in the b part we have learned that you are overtaking vessel when you can see at night time you can see only the stern light but here you will also start seeing the side light it doesn't mean that overtaking situation has been over it's not like that you have to pass clear of her go ahead and then it will be considered that you have taken the action according to the rules or in another case we just see that there is one another vessel let's say here okay you are also overtaking her but after some time let's say she started altering the course and she comes like this okay let's say there is a change in the bearing and she started altering and you are coming like this it doesn't mean now you say that this vessel is crossing vessel now so as per the crossing situation this vessel will take action and go above your stern but it's not like that even though she has changed her heading it's your duty to keep clear okay overtaking situation will not end up until you have passed clear of this too okay so keep this thing in mind you are the responsible person until the situation is over all right that is what it is given in the d part that is the last part of rule number 13 so the rule number 13 is very very simple guys but it is a important one you need to remember the important part is that this rule will always apply no matter what it is only when the visibility is restricted this rule will not be considered otherwise from rule number 4 to 10 or from rule number 11 to 18 whatever is given in the rules the overtaking situation will always be considered and the action will be taken according to the rule number 13 if the overtaking situation is there okay this is a papa rule or a king rule you can say okay well after that we have discussed that how you will consider that you are overtaking so if you are 22.5 degrees above the beam of the vessel or you can see the stern light at night time you will be considered that you are taking overtaking the vessel okay after that we have seen that if there is any doubt you will consider that you are overtaking and another part we have seen that if there is any change in the bearing okay obviously the bearing will change the bearing first maybe uh, it is 045 after when you come here it will be 090 approximately so the bearing is changing and you will see the side lights at night time so it doesn't mean that situation is over and you are not the overtaking vessel you still are the overtaking vessel and you will keep clear of this vessel until you have passed clear okay if you find this video helpful please press the like button and subscribe my channel and press the bell notification and press all notifications so that you don't miss out the videos which i'm going to put up next so so i'll see you in the next video guys this is abhilash thakur signing off